Welcome, welcome, welcome to Death and Rainbows, you piece of <laughs> Today we do the V2 420 Fuzz by Fuzzerocious. you came to see all right my jaded gear junkies welcome 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 to the debut episode of death and rainbow the review show where you get my unabashed unrelenting opinions on pedals with no butt licking at all so here's my clean tone let's turn the fuzz on and see what happens It's two fuzzes for the price of one. One kind of classic fuzz, the other one's like a midi palm muty fuzz. Both are gated, one is gated more than the other. You can introduce your clean signal. You can blend between the fuzzes when you bought them both on. You can also switch between nine volts and 18 volts. But when you engage both channels, the waveforms coming off of this bad boy are more square than a yuppie housewarming party. So get those khakis ready. Let's turn this guy on. What's surprising about the 420 Fuzz by Fuzzerocious is that it's tighter and cleaner than most fuzzes, which makes it punch out in the signal a little bit more. I mean, this thing is cleaner than my last piss test. Yay, science! Come on, guys, you knew we were gonna do weed jokes. This isn't a demo you came to see either. Enough of this bullshit. Let the demo begin. <laughs> In conclusion, I find that the 420 fuzz is a very usable fuzz. It has two kind of distinctive fuzzes. It's cool to be able to engage in both, which we did in the demo. Also blend. I like it. I like the color. You can get different colors in this bad boy too. Looks good on a pedal board. It's got a weed reference. I mean, what else do you want? Thank you again for joining us on the debut episode of Death and Rainbows. Thank you to Fuzzerocious for letting us check out the 420 Buzz V2. 
Uh, thank you uh, for watching. Uh, check out the Pedal Board Podcast and all the other stuff we got coming up. And remember, be fantastic always, and try not to lick a bag of suck. See ya. That was the show. How did it go?